All right, welcome to our tip 24. We're going to be working with our markdown and we're going to be integrating an awesome, super powerful tool called Shiny into it. Many people know how to use our markdown in R to create reports, but now what we can actually do is make them interactive with Shiny. And I'm going to check it, I'm going to show you how. So check this out. Uh, we've got a customer churn report that I've written here. It looks like a standard R markdown document until you get here. And you can switch out reports and these are what we call shiny widgets and we can zoom in and, and do all sorts of fun stuff um, and really explore the, the customer churn we can alter the feature importance or altering the plot and we can see how the different features uh, kind of shake out as we adjust some of the um, some of the algorithm uh, parameters so this is cool we're going to be going through how to do this today so uh, to get started, uh, if you haven't done so already, sign up for the RTIPS newsletter. Um, that's going to get you access to this Git repo. Um, what you're going to do is do a Git pull, clone the repo, and you'll get in your files, you'll have O24 Shiny in R Markdown. So just click that, open up this R Markdown document, .rmd. That's going to open up this over here. Okay, so um, to get started here today, uh, we're going to keep this simple. Basically, uh, what this is is a normal R markdown document. So it's got this thing up here called a YAML header. And what this does is it comes with kind of some uh, some specifications of how it's going to produce your report. It's got things like a title, a subtitle, an author. And if I go over here, I can see that is being written right here. Now, from here down, this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So we've got an output type. So we're outputting an HTML document, and I have a theme here called Flatly. It's kind of like a, a darker blue here theme. Um, and then what's really important is I have Runtime Shiny. And what that does is it actually has a server running my R markdown. You can see here this is spinning. So that's actually serving up this document, and it makes it an interactive document. It's really cool. So um, check it out. What we have here is just kind of normal R markdown. Um, we have the problem statement right here. This is a, a single hashtag for an H1 header um, in an HTML document. Um, I'm just talking about, you know, kind of talking through my report. We've got a problem. Customer churn is impacting revenue sales. What can we do? And then I have a solution statement. My analysis suggests that we can reduce churn by moving customers to long term contracts. And how I'm going to do that is I'm going to package my analysis in this report. So I'm going to use a correlation funnel. I'm going to use some other packages in here. Um, but mainly what I want to show off is the fact that we can do some inputs um, to change things around. So if we check out the code here, as soon as we get to this contract type effect part here. So if I zoom out, um, I can see that I have a uh, two different um, uh, inputs. I have a customer level and an aggregated here. And this is actually a shiny reactive input. If you've never uh, heard of shiny before, it's just a way to kind of uh, add little widgets into your analyses to be able to kind of change them on the fly and allow people to interact with your analysis. So this is cool. Um, and this is a nice way to spice up a report or something that if you're giving a presentation, um, you can uh, walk down through your report interactively. Um, so what I have here is when they select customer level, they kind of get this customer level where they can actually hover over individual customers. And what they're really interested in is, is which ones are churning. And then um, they can see specific customer, like customer ID 6680 uh, has a tenure of 43. Um, they churned, uh, but you can see also the proportion of these compared to this is much lower. So the two year, and this really makes kind of your, um, this, this really pushes your, uh, your agenda, which is saying, hey, you know, get people out of the month to month and switch them over to two year contracts um, to be able to uh, to reduce your churn. Um, and then they can switch out and do aggregated. So if they select aggregated, you can see it ran some um, some calculations over here. And uh, if if it's aggregated, um, it's going to produce this plot here. And if it's uh, anything else, which is going to be the customer level, it's going to produce this plot here. So that's what this this section of code is doing. Um, and then there's the feature importance plot down here, which is the, the other piece of the puzzle. And we can see I've got an input here that adjusts the number of bins. 
And what this is doing is it's changing the way that this correlation funnel is being produced. So this is for feature importance. You can see that the, high, the higher the feature is in this funneling uh, visualization, the more important it is. And we can see contract type month to month uh, is one of the most uh, highly correlated features to churn. Um, also online security, tech support, tenure, and so on. Um, so cool. That is how you would integrate Shiny in our Markdown. If you're interested in learning Shiny, I know I kind of flew through it here and I didn't really go through the code in depth, but I have two courses on it. I have one for beginners and I have one for experts uh, or, or those who want to become experts. So check out the links here. Um, the beginning, beginner is Shiny Predictive Dashboards and then the expert is Shiny Developer with AWS. Uh, in this one, you learn how to do like XG Boost and integrate those into kind of dashboards, um, which is how you will be able to scale your analyses through a company. And then it, you take the expert one when you're ready to start developing multi-user applications and things that um, you need to have security for and you want to be able to deploy on uh, AWS or, and on servers. So uh, check these two courses out. They're definitely uh, worthwhile and I, they've got amazing reviews. So check those out if you're interested in learning more. If you like this video, don't forget to sign up for the Tuesday free R Tips newsletter. You can just click this uh, link here and it'll send you here. Put your email address in and every Tuesday you'll get these videos, you'll get the code, and you'll get the tutorial right in your inbox.